Hi, this is Michael Walters with the Stern team at Keller Williams. And my goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so that you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying and investing goals. And today we're gonna to be talking through our 2019 market statistics for the Wasatch Front. So how does the Wasatch Front market feel to you? Well, here's a, a summary from 2019 for year end. Let's take a look at some key market indicators to help us understand what's really going on with the real estate along the Wasatch Front. In 2019, 38,024 single family homes sold and 10,305 condos town and townhomes sold across the Wasatch Front with the average price of a home hovering at $376,000, which is a 7% increase over 2018. With the increase in average price of a home, so is the average days on market. In 2019, we ended the average days on market for a home at 51 days, which is a 16% increase over 2018. Now let's talk about supply and demand. All economies are driven by supply and demand. If the supply is down and the demand is up, uh, well, we see prices go up. And we've had a pretty good ride in terms of increasing prices for homes across the Wasatch Front over the last six years. In real estate, it is considered a level market when you have between four and six months of supplies of homes on the market at any given time. If we dip below a four month supply, we find ourselves in a seller's market with upward pressure on pricing. If we get above six months supply, then we move into the opposite direction and begin to see a buyer's market. The absorption rate for all homes is four months, which is a 20% increase of where we finished at the end of 2018. This is being driven by an increased supply of homes, mainly due to lowering affordability. And while appreciation of homes is a good thing for homeowners, over time it puts limits on what uh, buyers can purchase, especially for those first time home buyers. We finished out 2019 with some political volatility that has continued to impact both the bond and stock market. The big items impacting the market are trade agreements with China and relationships with Iran and the Middle East. If this volatility continues in the new year, we would expect interest rates to remain low and potentially slide a little lower. If that political volatility is resolved, we would expect rates to rise as they react to inflation. As usual, give us a call or send us an email if you have any real estate questions or needs. Also, you're able to get your free instant market evaluation on this site by clicking the home evaluation tab or click on the home search tab uh, in real time, all properties for all brokerages across the entire Wasatch Front.